After a rather long pause, Skoda has brought back the Monte Carlo badge and this time it is on the more popular Cushark. Now, of course, Monte Carlo means a lot of red and black, but this time there are upgrades and changes that are a lot more prominent and a lot more useful as well. Well, in typical Monte Carlo fashion, you have this lovely shade of red. It is very sporty, very, very attractive. But if you aren't a fan of that, if you want a bit more subtlety, there's also a shade of white available as well. Then, of course, are the blacked out bits. The grille is all black. Now, the grille was always black, but the chrome surround that was on the standard car has been blacked out now. And at the bottom, you have the scuff plate as well that is in a shade of gloss black. The other change are the gloss black fog lamp housing cases, and that is about it. Not a lot that has changed, but overall it looks a bit more sporty and in some scenes a bit more rugged as well. Now over to the side, the biggest or the most noticeable change are of course the wheels. They have grown in size 17 inches now and if you look closely, the design is very similar to that of the Octavia RS245. Now that is very, very sporty. Those of course were 18 inches, but these still look nice and give the car an overall proportionate look. With the bigger 1.5 litre engine, you also get red brake calipers that add to the sportiness. The other changes are the badges of course, you have Monte Carlo on each of the fenders and you have blacked out ORVMs, you have a blacked out roof rail. The roof, if you see, is also blacked out. There are these dark metal bands on the door handles as well. And overall, the stance of the car has improved mostly due to the rise in the wheel size. So that is a very, very nice touch. And if that was an issue for you earlier, that has been solved with the Monte Carlo. Now at the back, it is a similar story. Everything has been blacked out here as well. The Skoda badging, the Kushak badging, even the strip gets the black treatment. And if you look closely low down, the diffuser gets gloss black as well. So overall, in typical Monte Carlo fashion, a blend of red and black. But has that theme continued on the inside? Let's find out. Now inside the Monte Carlo, they really have gone all out with the red and black because you have it all over. You have this lovely panel on the dashboard, gloss red, looks really nice. And the thing is, even if you buy the Monte Carlo in white, you still get the red bits. That is something you're going to have to live with. There's red ambient lighting as well. The seats get this lovely red and black upholstery, leather seats, quality is top notch. And you have Monte Carlo etching in all the headrest front and rear. And since this is based on the top spec style trim, you get a pretty packed car. There's pretty much everything you'd need. Sunroof, ventilated front seats, wireless charging, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You have a 10 inch touchscreen as well. But the big one, the big change for the Monte Carlo is in here. You have an eight inch fully digital instrument cluster and it looks fantastic. Especially in this car, it looks absolutely fitting. That was one issue with the standard Kushak, you know, analog dials didn't feel like they belong there. But in this one, they have solved that. And the thing is, since this is a Monte Carlo, the graphics have been changed to red as well. This is the same setup as you see on the Slavia. So you get pretty much everything, a lot of customization as well. And overall, it has upped the premium portion of the car. And lastly, you have metal pedals as well. Of course, they don't offer much in terms of functionality. They don't really change anything, but they look really really nice and really sporty and that's the whole point of a monte carlo in the rear the red and black seat upholstery continues and the overall cabin is laden with contrast stitching that looks the part powering the monte carlo will be the same 115 horsepower 1 liter engine and 150 horsepower 1.5 liter engine with the six speed manual gearbox as standard you also have the option of automatic gearboxes a six speed torque converter for the 1 liter and a seven speed dsg for the 1.5 tsi now, in terms of pricing, the Monte Carlo will cost roughly 80,000 to 1 lakh over the standard car. And for the extra you pay, you get the blacked out bits, you get bigger wheels, and you get the digital cluster as well. And if you're a fan of the red on the inside and the overall design of the car, then it is a worthy option to look at. But we'd love to know your thoughts, so do let us know in the comments what you think of the Skoda Kushak Monte Carlo. And of course, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Autocar India and hit the bell icon as well.